Hi everyone, my name is Anita Ladhani. I'm a licensed clinical social worker and an energy practitioner. And I wanna just remind you guys that we are still in the middle of a full-blown pandemic. And uh, we in the US, you know, like to be the best at everything. So we are gonna be the best at this pandemic as well in all the wrong ways. So anyways, I joke, of course, being facetious. But I wanna to talk to you guys really seriously. Uh, you've never seen me like this. You've never seen me with my hair pulled up. Trust me, I've got nice concealer on because if not, I've got these dark circles under my eyes. Um, this is like the best I can look right now. And this is the best I've looked in probably five months because I haven't met, I, you know, I, I wash my hair, but I haven't bothered blow drying my hair in five months. Um, I haven't, you know, bothered shopping for new stuff in five months. I literally wear like the same five dresses or five, six outfits. Because again, who am I impressing? Where am I going? I don't care. So what I'm telling you this is so that you understand that, you know, this is unfortunately our new normal. Our new normal is that we are all struggling. We're all going through depression. We're all going through anxiety. Um, you know, people who normally were coping and were doing really well um, did okay for the per first three months, four months, five months. But at some point, we're all sort of breaking down because we all have our limits. You know, people who have a history of mental health, you know, like myself, who's had it has a long history of, you know, having depression uh, or anxiety, you know, we're going to feel it even more because our our uh, baseline is already low than the normal average person. Um, so I'm sharing this with you because I want you to understand that this craziness, just, I know you get it. I understand you're smart, you're intelligent. I know you get it, but I just want to remind you because we kind of get, we kind of forget and we kind of get caught up with comparing ourselves to others. And, you know, so-and-so has, you know, so much person has, cooking these amazing dishes and so and so is doing all these zoom you know amazing you know classes on zoom and losing weight and they're doing this and they're reading these incredible books and they're learning a new language <sighs> let me let me just tell you something you don't have to accomplish anything in the pandemic except to survive that's it that's the biggest accomplishment as far as i'm concerned get through the pandemic safe healthy alive a plus automatically given to you because right now that's really all that's important so anyone who tries to you know tell you differently or if you're doing that you know comparing yourself to other people just stop because that's really not what this is about and as always reach out and get help find yourself a therapist start talking to someone um start you know it, it, you may have all the right tools, right? Like someone like me who knows how to do gratitude journaling and does it. I meditate regularly. I was doing yoga. I eat as healthy as I can. Still, I've gained more weight than, you know, in the pandemic than I have ever before. I felt the depression coming back. I got myself back on medication. I've started, you know, doing therapy for myself with my, with, you know, my, my colleagues. Um, and I'm telling you this is because that's okay. It's okay. Permission given to fall apart. Permission given to get help. Permission given to not have your life together 100%. That's okay. Uh, permission given to not be the golden child or not be all your stuff together. It's okay. Just get through every day and do the best you can. And that's all anyone can ask of you. As always, I'm here. I'm available if you want to talk, if you want to, you know, if you want to text me about something, message me. And, you know, maybe I can send you a referral to someone else. Or maybe I can refer you to a video. Maybe I can refer you to something. And again, there's no shame uh, uh, about, you know, getting on. There's no shame in getting on some kind of medication if you need it. Um, it's just really interesting to me. And I find it so amusing that in spite of me making these statements, you know, and being very transparent about myself, you know, people still, you know, there's always some who just, they can't help themselves. You know, they the stigma of medication for mental health is so ingrained that in spite of, you know, understanding that intellectually, emotionally, you, they still feel like, you know, oh, really, you had to go back on your medication. Oh, my God, I'm so sorry. And that's like, you missed the point of my video, if that's what you're getting from it. I'm referring to the last video before this one. Anyways, um, so that's it. You know, take care of yourself. 
just survive. That's all you have to do. You don't have to do anything more than that. That's enough. Okay. Love and light. God bless. Take care.